Why do I code on Linux? I keep getting asked this question when I'm asking y'all, should I stay with my dual boot? Should I VM? Should I WSL2, my Arch Linux distro? Even in my coding videos, why do I code on Linux? I actually have two main reasons why I code on Linux instead of Windows. And I also want to talk about the plenty of reasons why Linux is better than Windows, which are not why I code on Linux and use Linux, but they're nice to have. They're icing on the cake, if you will. Let's start off with the nice to haves, privacy. If you don't know, Windows by default has every single piece of data collection enabled. Meaning unless you go in and change that, they're gathering all of your data. And also they have a built-in keylogger. Did you know that? They have now implemented the ability to go in and disable the keylogger as well. But even with disabling all of this, do you really know that it's actually disabling all of this? I don't know. With Linux, I actually have privacy. There are some distros that may want to collect some of your data, but you can really go in and actually disable these. And if you don't believe it, you can actually go into the code considering the fact that Linux is open source. There's no proprietary software or anything hidden in there that you can't access and disable or remove. So with Linux, I actually have privacy. Linux is much more reliable. Sure, it has its quirks, but I've never had it crash my entire computer and waste a whole day of work reinstalling <coughs> Windows. Oh, and speaking of Windows, if you're wondering why I have Windows on my computer right now, I, I didn't want to be a fake and be like, I only use Linux. No, I also use Windows, but I only use Windows still because Adobe CC, I've tried every way you could imagine try to get Adobe CC on Linux and it just doesn't work how I need it to, and gaming. That's really the only reason. But reliability. Why do you think the biggest tech companies in the world use Linux? And in particular, Linux web servers. Facebook is run on Linux. Google is run on Linux. Amazon uses Linux. Even most supercomputers run on Linux. Why? Linux is just much more reliable, plain and simple. Linux is more secure than Windows, and there are two main reasons for this. One, because there are fewer amount of Linux users, Hackers don't typically target Linux. And I'm sure it also helps that Linux users are typically more tech savvy than Windows users. Two, Linux is open source. Now you may be saying, okay, well, that can mean hackers have an easier in because the more you know about a system, the easier it is to hack it, right? Right, this is true. But because it's open source, you also have more eyes on the code monitoring for issues. So what are the odds that a hacker is going to find a backdoor vulnerability and exploit it before someone can catch the vulnerability and patch it themselves. Linux users don't have to wait for Microsoft to investigate a vulnerability and fix it. They can fix it themselves. Linux has lower hardware requirements. So if you're running on an old laptop or an old PC with not too good specs, install Linux. It'll run a whole lot better than Windows ever will. It's free. So if you're building a new PC or something, you don't have to shell out $100 for Windows. I know they're you can get like Windows keys for cheaper, but I've always been a bit wary about those. Actual pro tip, if you do have an old computer, a laptop that you are no longer using, crack it open. There's gonna be a Windows key somewhere inside there that you can actually use when you're installing Windows 10 or whatever new Windows there is. But the cost, it's not too important to me because I don't mind spending money on a product that will help me out save me time or make my life easier. That is actually incredibly applicable to this thing right here. Not a sponsor or a product placement or anything. I have no affili affiliation with Otterbox. I feel like that always needs to be said. But we had this screen protector on my wife's phone. She dropped it, it cracked, the screen cracked, and we were. she was very upset. She brought it to me, I'm like, there's no like color distortion or anything like that, so I peeled this off. Turns out this cracked and the screen is perfectly fine. So I bought another one because Again, I don't mind spending money on something that'll make my life easier or save me money because now I don't have to get a new phone or replace a screen myself, which also saves me time. Now, this isn't one of my main points as to why I use Linux, but I do really like that there is a, a like a tight Linux community. Don't get me wrong, it can get, get kind of stack overflowy. Y'all told me that some of y'all's experience with Linux, but it's not, I've never had that bad of an experience with the Linux communities as I would with plenty of coding or especially stack overflow communities and forums like that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check my last video or two videos ago and you'll see what I'm talking about. Finally, my two favorite things about Linux 
and really the main reasons as to why I use it. It is incredibly customizable. That's what I like. It's open source, it's customizable, and I can I can make it look and do and feel any way I want. If I want it to make it just like Mac OS, I can do that. Now, there are different distros where you don't have to do so much work in making it customizable, but you can still customize those. I use Arch Linux, by the way. I <laughs> probably already mentioned that in this video, and people have already joked me in the comments. But it's an incredibly customizable Linux distro, and that's why I like to use it. I'm kind of in limbo right now. If you saw my last video where I haven't done much customization because I deleted my old one for some weird reason, but it's very customizable and I plan to rebuild my Arch Linux system in like three weeks. So that probably means four or five weeks. Software, software development time, kind of how it works. And two, the terminal. Like I know there's WSL2, I know there's the new Windows command line, but I, the, the, the Linux terminal is just vastly superior than Windows command line or anything that Windows has to offer. And I'm also gonna bunch in with like the terminal, the package manager. The package manager, I can install, delete anything I want, all of it, without having to worry about all this random stuff that Windows wants to install or how it wants me to uninstall it. And if I uninstall it, it'll still have all of these other files that won't get deleted. It's very easy to use a Linux terminal to manipulate your files, your apps, and everything that you have exactly how you want it. So if you wanna remove everything, you can remove everything. If you wanna install something, you just type in a simple command. Working with the code, working with Git, all of that, it's just, it doesn't feel right to me on Windows. And trust me, I've tried again and again and again. The Linux terminal is just better. I, bash, putty, I don't care. It's it's not the same. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave it a like for the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Plus, making some progress on the YouTube leaderboard. So some of these comments in these videos may apply to something on an annual basis. Maybe. We'll see. If you don't know what the YouTube leaderboard is, watch my last video. We do some coding and I kind of give you an overview of the YouTube leaderboard or project engagement. It's a really fun coding project that I'm really enjoying working on and meet creating. And I think that's all I have to say on the matter.